Hello everyone, um, we are going to talk about capacitors on the mobile phone board, the PCB of the mobile phone. Capacitors are components on the board that are responsible for storing um, electrical energy and then filtering DC current as well. And there are three types of um, capacitors. We have the non-electrolytic capacitor and it is found in, at any section of the mobile phone and it can be light black yellow or brown in color and it has no positive or negative side and it is responsible for filtering DC current so here you can see a light black color with white stripes these are electrolytic capacitors you can see them there you can see them here good here yeah, as well light black with and then some of them are light yellow and then brown as well and then the second type of capacitors we have is an electrolytic capacitor it is also found in any section of the phone and its its size is larger than the like non electrolytic capacitors and there are two types there are two types we have one the orange with brown stripes so anytime you see an orange component with brown stripes it is an electrolytic capacitor and then the second type of electrolytic capacitor is a black with white white strips on the sides and the sides the stripes the, the sides are negative and then positive and it stores current and then filters it filters um, DC current as well and then we have the network capacitors the network capacitor is found in the net, network section of the PCB and they are made up of two or more electro non electrolytic capacitors now we are going to learn about how to test and find out faulty capacitors on the PCB it's very simple and I'm going to demonstrate that anytime you want to find out if a capacitor is working or not just turn your your multi meter to the buzzer mode this is the buzzer mode here to the buzzer mode so for us to be sure the multimeter is working you give a buzzer you can hear that's in the buzzer mode so we are going if we hear a beep, you place a post at both sides of the capacitor and you hear a beep, then it means that the capacitor is faulty. If you don't hear a beep, a beep then it means the capacitor is working alright. So we are going to try one. So this one here, this is a capacitor, this is a capacitor, this is a capacitor. You can see here there are larger capacitors around this very component. This is a power IC. That's why it has a lot of capacitors on. So we are going to test if they are working on. Mind you, this is a working board. So we are going to get a very good reading. So let's start with this one here. Mind you, when doing it, you see, we only see readings, no beeping sound. Now, if you don't put your probes very well, you might get a beep. So be careful how you place your probes. You Matter not to get a wrong reading. So here, yeah. we are not getting any beeping sound. It means that capacitor is working. No sound. No sound. These are working very well. These larger ones are also working. These ones are also working. So you can see we are not getting any beeping sound. I told you if you don't please your pros well or you might hear a beep. So the point here is a working capacitor does not give you a beep when it's faulty you are going to get a beep in testing for a capacitor
Thank you.